ask, then you would have to ask for permission in Palanga International and you have to enter this airport only uh, through these points, uh, four points. Hi, my name is Rima and welcome on board at Baltic Aviation Academy. Today I will tell you more about second season flights. When the first year of pilot studies is completed, students usually have their ATPL theory passed and spend the entire summer acquiring experience and fly the hours doing VFR and night VFR flights on a single engine aircraft. So what comes next? I think all ab initio students have a similar goal to work for an airline as a pilot or ideally a captain. So what is a pilot without an experience? Therefore, the second year is all about that. Gaining more experience, getting all the required ratings, feeling comfortable landing and taking off in international airports and controlling bigger multi-engine aircraft. After the first flying season, Students spend 35 to 37 hours in flight and navigation procedure trainer during the winter. This gives them enough time to learn the basics of navigation procedures and prepares them for the flights in aircraft. The second season starts with the instrument rating flights, learning to fly under instrument rules. Instrument rating, or also known as IR flights, are performed on Cessna 172. This module includes 16 hours of flights depending on the program that student is enrolled in. During these hours, students fly to the international airports where they have an opportunity to become a part of the bigger aviation industry. Students get to communicate with several different control units even if they are flying around a single airport. Students must contact approach tower, ground control and strictly follow their directions while flying or taxiing in the airport territory. So the level of responsibility grows with every flight that student takes. <music> Students also take night visual flights and those are breathtaking. Night flights are conducted only in the airports that comply with NBFR requirements and are equipped with a special lighting. These flights are the most romantic. Those students who take CPL modular course will have to complete 15 hours of CPL flight training module. During this course, students work on perfecting their VFR, IR flights. The module is developed to introduce students to their responsibilities as commercial pilots and stress on their importance of passenger and aircraft safety philosophy. Once students collect all the IR flight hours, including night visual flights, they are ready to move on to the last rating in order to complete the license studies, multi-engine aircraft flights, or also abbreviated as MAP. MAP training course involves controlling heavier and more powerful aircraft. The module consists of 7 hours theory part and 13 hours flight training. The biggest difference from the previous aircraft that students learn to use is that multi-engine has two engines of course. The course focuses on the standard aircraft operations and emergency situation handling. So, Aymantas, how is your instrument rating flights are going so far? Are they difficult? Well, yeah, it's been great. Thank you for asking. Uh, actually, it is difficult. It's not easy. You have to dedicate yourself into it 100% from flight planning till after flight debriefing is completed. Uh, I personally found a really big difference between VFR flights, which I did during my first year, and V and uh, sorry IFR flights, which I'm planning to finish this summer. Um, you basically have to change your whole mindset from just looking outside the aircraft while navigating, looking for some visual references, to concentrating in your cockpit instruments, no matter what, if you're flying in fog or deep in the clouds. And what does instrument rating flight uh, preparation procedure involves? Well, Rima, first of all, you have to read NOTAMs uh, to check for any potential hazards along your route and uh, at your destination, um, which can affect safety of your flight. 
-hmm. Not less important is to check uh, weather information by analyzing meters and taps. Uh, then we have to analyze uh, aerodrome schemes from AIP, Aeronautical Information Publication, and familiarize with them. Um, what else? Okay, then we're ready to go to instructor for do, to do our briefing. Uh, before, so to discuss any uncertainties that occurred during our preparation uh, and to talk over about exercises which we're going to perform during our flight. And then you're ready to go to the aircraft to do an inspection and walk around. And then we're ready to fly. And what are the steps after the flight? After the flight you have to fill your logbook, aircraft journey logbook, and of course fuel tanks for other students. And then you're ready to go for debriefing with instructor to discuss your um, sides where you have to improve your skills. And that's it. I see. So thank you, Amantos, for the talk. And I wish you all the best with your training. Thank you very much, Rima. See ya. Therefore, to summarize the whole second year at Abinicio School, we can easily say that students' goal is to get as much experience in the aircraft as possible. By completing the second flight season, students can basically see the end of their studies and feel the accomplishment of one of very important steps in their pilot career.